Hey guys, it's Andy. I'm back here for another Make a Mega episode. Last time I was continuing on that list that is alleged to have Pokemon that are receiving Mega Evolutions in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Edition. And once again, today I'll be working on that list. And as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be going over a certain cat and mouse. Those mons, of course, being Persian and Raichu. And similarly to Golem, way back in episode 3, these two Pokemon actually received Alolan forms recently. Well, not actually recently, it's been like over two years, but you know what I mean. The point being that they already have Alolan forms, which I guess to some people may mean that they don't deserve Megas. But you guys know I definitely don't feel that way. I would be happy if every Pokemon got Megas, but that's a whole nother topic. I don't dislike Alolan Persian or Alolan Raichu, but I would definitely prefer Mega Evolutions for them. So today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on how I would make Megas for them. So let's just get started with the mouse and good ol' Raichu. I personally have never been the biggest fan of Raichu. I've always preferred Pikachu both competitively and casually. Competitively, Raichu does have superior stats, but I've always just loved abusing the light ball gimmick with Pikachu. It's always just been so satisfying to me. Whereas with Raichu, I just always felt it's outclassed by other electric types. And that little gimmick Pikachu has over it has just always made Pikachu better in my eyes than Raichu. With the advent of this Mega, however, I plan to make Raichu better than not only Pikachu, but perhaps a slew of other electric types as well. As of right now, regular Raichu is a pure electric type with Static or Lightning Rod as its abilities, with 60 HP, 90 in Attack and Special Attack, 55 Defense, 80 Special Defense, and 110 Speed. Alolan Raichu is a bit different with a Psychic type added on, and its stats redistributed a little bit. So I'm not really sure, and I didn't consider this back when I made my Golem build, but I don't know if, let's say, Raichu does get a Mega Stone, would Alolan Raichu also be able to use it? I'm not sure about that because Alolan Raichu has a specific Z Stone that it can use, so I'm not, I really don't know how that would work. That's something I didn't consider when I made my Mega Golem. I'm bringing it up now because I built this Mega with regular Raichu in mind, so I don't know how it would apply to Alolan Raichu, so I'm just going to distance the Alolan forms from this. Now, that may seem unfair, but let's be honest, if Game Freak was fair, they would have made Megas for all these Pokemon already, and I wouldn't have to make this series, so let's just continue with Raichu. For its stats, I would immediately give it 30 speed, putting it at 140, 30 to attack, putting it at 120, and 40 to special attack, putting it at 130. I went through with this with an offensive build in mind, as you can see, I thought about giving its offensive stats the same distribution, maybe like 35 each instead of 30 and 40, but I would actually prefer Mega Raichu to have a bit more special attack than physical, while still of course having a solid physical attack stat as well. Either way, an electric type Mega with 140 speed, 130 special attack is already pretty comparable to Mega Manectric, and you guys should know by now that I don't really like making Megas that are so easily comparable to other existing Pokemon. But I felt with Mega Manectric having Intimidate, as well as things like Overheat and Flamethrower and stuff, I figured even with their similar typing and stats, these two would be different enough to warrant making Mega Raichu like this. And speaking of similarities to already existing Pokemon, I actually thought about giving Mega Raichu... What's the ability? Electric Surge, the one that prompts Electric Terrain. But I really didn't like how similar it was to Tapu Koko. Even though Tapu Koko has Fairy type and Roost and a whole bunch of other things Raichu doesn't get, I feel like with these stats and that ability, those two would just be too comparable. So I didn't want Electric Surge for Mega Raichu. Instead, I was tossing around all kinds of ideas. I thought about maybe giving Mega Raichu fighting type since it's got Focus Blast, Brick Break, Dynamic Punch, and stuff it could theoretically take advantage of, but I figured since it lacks like High Jump Kick or Close Combat, or even things like Power Up Punch, I just couldn't see it really benefiting Raichu too much. So I opted out of giving it fighting type and a fighting type ability. Instead, I came up with a new ability. Well, not really new. It's actually an old ability, but reworked into something electrical themed. 
What I had in mind was an electric type compound eyes. The premise behind it being that there's just so much electricity emanating from Raichu that it has an easier time detecting and hitting its foe. As for the practicality of this, if you're familiar with how compound eyes works, it boosts your accuracy by 30%. And when I initially heard that, I figured, wow, so you mean 70% accurate moves would increase by 30 and go up to 100%? But no, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Base 70% accurate moves are increased to something like 91%, which is still much better than 70. In that sense, Mega Raichu would definitely be able to take advantage of things like Thunder and Focus Blast. Combine that with its buffed stats, and I think Mega Raichu would definitely be a force to be reckoned with. As for move sets, I could see Mega Raichu running. I believe the most potent set would be Nasty Plot 3 attacks. The attacks being Thunder for nice stab. You could also run Thunderbolt if you don't want to take that chance of missing Thunder. Focus Blast and Hidden Power Ice as two nice coverage options. A non-Nasty Plot set could also work with maybe Volt Switch or Discharge to switch it up. <laughs> Literally. And even a physical set could work with maybe Fake Out, Volt Tackle, Thunder Punch, Wild Charge, whatever physical stab you want to use. And then Dynamic Punch is a nice option. I had this in the back of my mind when I thought about making Raichu Fighting type, but even without it, it's still a nice bit of coverage to have. So yeah, like I said, when I made this, I set out to make Mega Raichu better in my opinion than Pikachu, and I believe I've accomplished that with this, so that about does it for Mega Raichu. Now let's move on to the Cat Persian. Now unlike Raichu, I've actually had my fair share of competitive usage with Persian, and I'm definitely a fan of it. And despite that though, Mega Persian is still incredibly underwhelming. Its Alolan form is definitely an improvement over it, but I still prefer this classic Persian. I would absolutely love to buff it by giving it a Mega. It's a pure normal type with three decent abilities in Technician, Limber, and Unnerve, but with absolutely pitiful stats. Special Attack, Defense, Special Defense, and HP not even going above 65. Attack at a mediocre 70, while speed being its only redeeming factor at 115. For the stats I would give it, I initially thought I would boost its speed to 140, but then I saw that I would take 35 points, and I really wasn't comfortable with only having 65 more points to spare. So I thought about it for a bit, and eventually came up with something I think is incredible, and definitely fitting for Persian. I actually didn't increase its speed at all, instead, giving 20 to special defense, taking 5 away from special attack, and putting 25 in physical defense, putting them both at 85, while dropping the remaining 60 points into its attack stat, putting it at 130. This gives Persian its much deserved offensive presence that it's desperately needed since its inception. And if you're wondering why I didn't increase its speed any, we just have to look at the ability I gave it, which is Speed Boost. Now Speed Boost should need no introduction, it's a pretty broken ability, especially on Pokemon that get access to Baton Pass, which is most Pokemon with Speed Boost. I was actually surprised to find Persian can learn Baton Pass, but I still think it would be a phenomenal ability for a Mega Persian. Especially considering Persian has access to Fake Out, enabling it to get off a free hit and secure a speed boost on the same turn without having to worry about taking any damage. Now this wouldn't make Mega Persian too broken because after all Persian would still be pure normal type, it doesn't exactly have the greatest move pool. Because of this I believe it would adopt the role of a late game sweeper, I don't think it has much potential to like break through teams after getting a speed boost. With this in mind, for a set I could see it running, Fake Out is pretty much mandatory. If you're worried about Tapu Lele or Psychic Terrain in general, you could maybe run Protect, but Fake Out is going to be superior in about 90% of situations. Return or Facade, if you're worried about status, both are nice stabs in general. Knock Off is nice to be able to hit Ghost types, and just knocking off items in general is always nice. Then finally, like I said, Persian doesn't exactly have a great move pool offensively, so maybe something like Taunt or U-Turn as a way to disrupt the opponent could be nice. The main attacks on this set would be Fake Out and Return. In that regard, it's kind of similar to Megalopunny, but Megalopunny has Fighting Type and High Jump Kick and Ice Punch and ways to break, whereas like I said, with Mega Persian, its role would be much more inclined to 
late game coming in and sweeping, so I feel they're different enough to warrant something like this for Mega Persian. And that concludes my build for Mega Persian, as well as the video. Let me know what you thought about it, let me know if you agree with the way I made Megas for these Pokemon, if you disagree let me know how you would make them. If you're enjoying this series and haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe because I'll definitely be putting out more of these videos. We got about two or three weeks until Let's Go comes out and I want to get this list done. So definitely subscribe to see if I do get this done in time or if I fail. And if you're feeling generous, I would certainly appreciate recommending my channel to friends. I'm at 90 subscribers right now and I'd like to reach 100 before the year ends. Another little goal, I can see if I fail or not. But regardless of all that, thank you for watching this video up until right now even. A lot of people close out of the video as soon as I'm done, but you're one of the real ones, and I thank you for that. Well, I'm gonna get on out of here. Like I said, thank you for watching, and have a good day, guys.